If you could visit my Southeastern Pennsylvania high school in 1992, the start of my ninth grade year, and ask me what I thought I would do after college, you would hear me say, with certainty, I will go to medical school. <laughs> Yet, if you could ask me the same question in June of 1996 upon my high school graduation, you would hear me say, I'm probably going to medical school, but if I don't do that, I might become a rabbi. <laughs> I, I see now that I was searching for and gathering bits of wisdom from wherever I could find them. These next four years hold such promise for you, perhaps especially because your increasingly complex reflections about the world and your place in it will lead you toward lives of your own design. It is a very exciting time. Take a moment to look at the people on stage with you. These are your partners in growing up. When you took the bus to the forensics tournaments and rode the zip line at Mackinac, they were with you. When you took water samples from the stream beside Green Hills, they were with you. When you got in line at Kinko's to have your memoir projects bound, they were with you. When, last week, some of you decided to wear knee-high fluorescent socks to school, by golly, some of your friends were doing it too. You will join clubs, write papers, apply to colleges, perform chemistry experiments under the relative safety of fumes, and just generally walk around with these people. Enjoy them. And enjoy these next years as you continue on your passage toward lives of your own making, buoyed by your common experiences, by habits of self-reflection, and by the joy you will find within the halls and fields of this school together. Please join me in giving the eighth grade a round of applause. I would now like to introduce Evan Kanji, our student speaker. Perhaps one thing that helps make this class so great is that so many of us care so deeply about what we do at school. Another thing that we care about is the world. We ran a food drive, chipped trails for the city, cleared out invasive species, did service in Detroit, and started the Walk for Water. Looking ahead to the next four years, many of us will be making a massive 30-foot migration to the distant tundra of the ninth grade form. <laughs> However, others are departed, whether to Huron, Pioneer, Skyline, or even such foreign countries as Canada or New Jersey. For our friends who are leaving, I would like to quote Robert Fulgham. The grass is not, in fact, always greener on the other side of the fence. Fences have nothing to do with it. The grass is green where it is watered. The obvious moral here is that, as Fulgham said, when crossing over fences, carry water with you and tend the grass wherever you may be. As we leave the figurative walls of middle school, and some leave the walls of this building forever, we have the world ahead of us. It's our job to change it for the better. As humorist Will Rogers once said, even if you're on the right track, You'll get run over if you just sit there. <laughs> Green Hills Middle School has put us on the right track. It's up to us not to get run over. Thank you. Please join me again in congratulating them on this achievement.